Good morning. Good morning. <clears throat> Good morning. It's Monday today. I'm up. I'm bright. I'm early. It's midday already. Dan has gone to a conference this week. He's away for three days and I'm solo parenting. But the good thing is, Indigo is at her grandma today. So I have the whole afternoon to myself. I was gonna say the whole day, but it's already midday and she only just left about 20 minutes ago because she's getting up really late at the moment. Well, she wakes up about six and then she goes back to sleep until like 10, half 10. My plan for today is I need to go to the local Sainsbury's because we've run out of milk, fruits, you know, all the fresh stuff. So I'm gonna get a few bits and then I'm just gonna sort the house out. I'm gonna hoover, I'm gonna mop. Why do we do this? Why, when we've got a day off, to ourselves, no, we don't have a bath. No, we don't just relax. We don't watch a film. What do we do? We clean, because this is the only time I can hoover, because she doesn't like the sound of the hoover when she's awake. The hoover will wake her up when she naps. So I feel like I literally have once a week to hoover the whole house, unless Dan takes her out for a bit and I get the chance but still I'm in the house by myself it's the only time I can hoover I just plan to clean the house freshen it up for autumn and maybe just maybe I will get the autumn decor out of the shed not sure if I'm gonna put it up today it is Dan's birthday on Thursday so I need to sort stuff out for his birthday come along for the journey okay I'm just gonna whip round the house and show you the mess. Just wanna show you before, so then I will be inspired to clean everything to show you the after, because that's how my brain works. I need the rewards. This is the conservatory. Still kind of messy since Indigo's birthday, which was over two weeks ago. But yeah, I, eventually I plan to move the ball pond up to the playroom. Right now, it's still quite warm in here, so I'm just going to leave it until coldness hits. This thing is rented from a toy library, which I need to take back tomorrow. Yeah, so it's just a little bit of a mess. The bikes, we've got fitness stuff over there. We've got a few fitness things over here, my tripod. And this is from the tent. It's the tent carpet because we had a tent up in the garden he didn't help me fold it away or i didn't help him and now it's here this is the lounge just a bit of a mess you know around a headband a book a giant banana um, this is the setup right now of the lounge so this part is pretty much empty like hardly any furniture but in the winter we plan to bring the sofa in from the conservatory into that corner so it's just a nice cozy little bit of the lounge we can chill in in front of the fires when it gets cold and then this is the situation on the other end i mean it's not too messy you know, things just need tidying up and then in the dining room again not too messy because i did do a bit of tidying last night but the floors are really dirty so i just need to hoover mop empty the dishwasher and we are currently in the middle of a kitchen renovation, which has been going on for three months. Um, so that video will be up soon, but this is it so far. Tragic. Still need to strip that wallpaper, which <laughs> we haven't done since we moved in. So yeah, I plan to do the whole kitchen white with the green tiles. This is from, we chipped off like the excess bits of tile and then we're gonna put a thick wooden shelf at the top. But yeah, look, as you can see, half of the kitchen is done, half is not. Obviously that still needs to be painted, a few more layers. Um, so yeah, I was thinking of doing some of the kitchen today, but not sure, let's see how we feel. Yeah, a little bit of tidying and 
This is the hallway, also half finished. All the renovation vlogs will be coming soon, but why not show you the reality of it right now? That's the shelf that's going in the kitchen. And then over here, it was gonna be for the time being, but I think we're gonna keep it. We've made a coffee station, glasses, syrups, etc. And then we kept the we kept the kettle in here and put all the teas out. And then that cupboard is where all the mugs and coffee and stuff lives. So for, do you know what? I think like we're gonna use this as a tea and coffee station, the utility, because there is just not that much room in the kitchen for um counter space really because Dan built this um yeah over the boiler as you can see so this will be kind of a storage cupboard but I need to organize that maybe fit some proper shelves in you know make the most of the storage and eventually we're going to paint that put a handle on make it into a proper cupboard and it needs to be fixed because it's a bit wonky but yeah as you can see we don't really have much counter space because most of the time all the washing up is here we prepare food here for dinner and here is hardly any room. I do want to get a new microwave eventually. I've painted the cupboards, put some plants at the top so it just looks a bit more. So I've painted all the cupboards white and the skirtings. We just need to paint the countertops and the rest of the tiles green. But it looks simple, but it really isn't. Like I need a lot of time because I still need to put a few more layers on here because as we've left it for so long, there's some bits that have stained and yeah, I need to paint over it. And then put the varnish straight on. I also need to varnish the tiles and then Dan has to put the shelf up because I'm just not strong enough to do it. Look at these new ice cream bowls I bought the other day. Stunning. I love them so much. I got them in the charity shop for 150 each. Can you believe? When I finally finish the kitchen, let's hope it's this year. Um, I plan to put like um, a bar above here, above the window, and then have some hanging plants coming down on the windows. Don't you think that'll look cool? Just needs some more vibrancy in here. It's a very dark kitchen. It's not a small kitchen, but it's also not a big kitchen. Like, as I said, there's not much counter space. The fridge takes up most of the room. Um, so yeah, I just want to make it kind of cozy. I want to make it more green, more homely vibes and bright. Cozy but bright. And this is the chimney update. Still haven't finished that from about six months ago. But it looks pretty cool. I think it looks quite cool that I haven't finished it, to be honest. Do you know what I mean? Looks a bit arty. Yeah, so those are the house updates. Like, why not? I was going to keep them all for the renovation vlogs, but I'm just showing you where we're at. Look at this pencil shelf. I got it at the charity shop. I thought it was really cool and vintage vibes, which matches the brick. I left the fridge open and I only realised this morning that I have an av avocado. I've had it for ages. Let's hope it's still good. Okay. Honestly, usually when I wake up, I have nothing for a, a few hours. And then when Indigo goes down for her morning nap, that's when I have food and coffee. I'm going to have a crumpet, scrambled eggs and avocado. Oh, pretty good. I haven't even had coffee yet. Do I even need coffee? Probably not. Will I have some? Probably yes. When I'm in the house by myself, my spirit just comes alive. Whoop. 
once felt and shrugged off, to the humans that were once there, are reminded in our thoughts but simply didn't care, to the phases of solitude, isolation, deterioration, I am with you, to the transitions of woes and muster, I am with you, to the love that remains and resists the unveiling of the duvet, I am with you. As our now is simply to serve and to eat what the stars feed us. We are us. It's the full moon tomorrow. That's, that's why my voice feels so clear. It is a creative one. We are in full moon in Pisces. Full moon in Pisces. I was wondering, do you follow the moon? I feel very creative today. I feel very enthusiastic, high energy. I have so many words that I want to unravel into my brain and out. <laughs> good. Fun fact, I used to be a cleaner for quite a few years. Self-employed, domestic cleaner around the houses. I also did some offices but I hated the offices and I would always think one day I will have a house big enough to take all of my life cleaning and I'm here but it is a full-time job to clean this house funny feeling so many benefits and I drink it every night before I go to bed usually mix it with spearmint maybe some lavender dandelion or raspberry leaf it's a great combo great for the body and the nervous system I have been on the hunt for the same sketches that I own for over a month in my size but they're discontinued which I'm really sad about but I have been researching for weeks for a new sketcher trainer that is very similar to what I had. And I think I found it. My purple ones are deteriorating. But yeah, I love those trainers, but they're discontinued. So I got these. So these, so the one, the sketches that I had were sketches Go Run Swell Tech or Texwell, I don't know. And these are Sketches Go Run 7. And I got them in this color, them in black, white, and purple. 
bigger than my other ones mm, I feel like they're not gonna be as good as the ones I have but I'll give them a try and I can always return them Jan's away it only means one thing convenience milk couscous Caesar salad satay chicken croissant blueberries I got these on discount Butternut squash and spinach croquettes. Ice cream for Dan's birthday. Milk for go go and Philadelphia. I'm starving. I haven't eaten since brunch. Some casserole. It's half four. This is usually where my hunger peaks around four to five p.m. So I'm just gonna have an early dinner. And if I'm hungry later, I'll have a snack. I need a knife and fork. Hi guys, as you can see it's night time now. I've just put Indigo to bed cleaned up the house is clean it's tidy i'm gonna have a shower a cup of spearmint dandelion and chamomile tea and then i'm gonna relax and go to sleep it's been a very productive day my energy surprisingly has been very high up until now so Thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you in the next video. Comment down below on what your favourite bedtime drink is. Do you have a bedtime drink? Is it water? Is it tea? Is it hot chocolate? Let me know. Is it alcohol? I don't drink but that's fine if it is. And yes, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.